Hi, my name is Liz Hathaway and this is my astrological look at the week ahead. That's the week starting um, the 6th of August 2018. So I'm going to dive in really on a Tuesday because there seems to be a lot happening this week. We have on Tuesday Sun Square Jupiter and we have on Thursday Sun conjunct Mercury. This is Sun in Leo, Mercury in Leo, Jupiter in Scorpio. And then on Saturday, we have Mercury square Jupiter. So you can see there's a kind of a, a clash of interest here between the Leo planets, the Sun and Mercury, and Jupiter in Scorpio. Jupiter in Scorpio is very much about the things that really mean, have meaning to us, intrinsic meaning, particularly now Jupiter's moving direct. Jupiter's in Scorpio. This is about the fundamental things, the core things, the core values the things that we are prepared if we need to, to really stand for. And Jupiter's had a long time retrograde and he's moving fast forward now. So Jupiter is really putting his weight down too. He's sort of, you know, coming with the moral, with the philosophical, with the, um, with the, um, the guidelines, if you like, for the future blueprint for our lives. And the sun is in Leo. And Leo is also uh, full of self-interest, full of self-importance in a way, and also very much about the me, whereas Jupiter is much more as a planet and also as a sign. It's becoming much more social. It's becoming socially aware. It's about, you know, the eighth house. It's about shared things. So there can be some really fundamental, deep differences running through as a thread through this week between the sun's self-interest and Jupiter, which is a bit of a wider sort of, um, shall we say, more, um, yeah, certainly with Venus in Libra as well on, tu on Tuesday, you know, what is the general consensus? What do, what do we want? Um, this is quite, quite a challenging week in that respect. Sun square Jupiter on Tuesday as well, it's about projects that take a lot out of us, so that we really have to make a lot of effort for. This is another way we can look at it. So I would say, you know, really choose your projects wisely this week because the sun is eclipsed on Saturday. So this is almost like I've made all that effort for nothing as the sun is, you know, the energy is taken out, is, is cleaned away. If you're like, almost like, a, as, as Rudolf Steiner would see it, these eclipses are sort of like great big cleanings. They're sort of cleanings of cosmic energy. So something that we might have put a lot of effort into might dissipate or disappear in front of our eyes as the week progresses. But the beginning of the week, let's just stay a little bit at the beginning of the week. We have that lovely Venus moving into Libra, which is very much about um, harmony. Venus in Libra doesn't like discord. She will go to great lengths, really, to preserve the status quo, to keep things harmonious. She's very much... Um, you know, reminding us of the importance of relationship, the importance of sharing, the importance of being together. Um, it's a sign, Venus in Libra's in the sign that she rules. So she's comfortable here. It's a coming home to Venus. And on Wednesday, she trines Mars. So there's almost like a welcome um, committee here, though it might be a little bit, you know, a little bit quiet because Mars is retrograde. But there's definitely an opportunity with the Venus-Mars trine to um, harmoniously work together, male and female. Um, so if, um, if there are some difficulties, for example, in the relationship sphere, this is where we can find things that we can agree on. You know, it's not all trouble and strife. Forget we're in eclipse season, so there can be trouble and strife. But this is where things, these points we agree on, and that can give us some substance as well. And it's a flowing energy, it's a trine, so things move quite quickly as well. So projects can move ahead. On Thursday, as I said, we have the Sun conjunct Mercury, which is a bit more difficult, because when a planet is close to the Sun, it's no longer visible to us. And it's become, uh, although the exact moment of conjunction is a moment of strength. The planet is then said to be in Kazimi, has the ear of the king, as it were. So, you know, this is maybe a moment where you can um, have a moment of insight at the exact time of the conjunction. So it's worth looking up because I'm in middle European time here. Um, so that conjunction, but on the other hand, in general, you know, because that conjunction, that exact conjunction is very short. 
And in general, you know, Mercury is now under, you know, the glare of the sun. So, um, you know, Mercury is actually, um, you know, hidden from view. And this can quite literally point to um, something in the communication that's been left unsaid or, um, you know, some instructions that we've been given that aren't right, that, you know, don't bring us where we need to be. Um, some confusion in communication. It's a classic sort of lost key sort of thing. But um, yeah, it, but basically I think, you know, looking at Sun Square Jupiter, big promises, Sun conjunct Mercury, you know, not having all the information. And then we have the Mercury Jupiter square a few hours before the eclipse on Saturday, which um, again can incline us to make a mountain out of a molehill, uh, to get very angry, hot under the collar. You know, um, words can be um, spoken with great haste. Um, and um, there's that sense with the eclipse following shortly after that we should be mindful of, our, of the kind of things we say and how we say it. Venus in Libra. You know, it's it's it try to keep the week smooth, try and keep harmony um, going, try and look for compromise where possible. Because eclipses are events. They are, um, you know, the, we've just had this week now in this eclipse season, we've had the quake in um, Indonesia. And quite often um, we find around and in eclipse season, large eclipses take place, the um the cousin of this eclipse, which was in August 1999, for example, in the huge quake in Turkey. So what does this say? It's saying that eclipses have the potential to shake things up. They can move things. Rudolf Steiner used to say that eclipses were a sort of a cleansing. They cleaned the um, the air in a way. They, they, they have a sort of powerful shake that shake things up. And what we can also do, of course, uh, do in the solar eclipse is we can briefly look at the sun. We can see naked power. And probably as well, we'll be able to see Mercury as well for that moment, even though it really it's under the moon's, the sun's beam still. So um, this is a powerful eclipse. And what is uh, the moon is in Aquarius. So the moon is taken, um, taking control in a way. And she's able at this point to take out the sun. So it's a powerful um, um, a moon and we have Mars still in Aquarius around the south node and it's trying Venus on um, on Wednesday so there's definitely a theme here of um, keeping it social keeping it collective keeping an eye on the bigger picture and it's not all about me which is the downfall of Leo in a way and on Friday I'll just backtrack a little bit to Friday because on Friday we see Venus square um, Saturn, which is a frustrating aspect. Um, it's uh, very much about, you know, Venus um, running into a wall in, in, in a way. Saturn can be, you know, bottle, you know, lock down the hatches and, you know, don't want to know. Although um, Venus, of course, exalts Saturn. So, um, you know, this can be frustrating. This can be restrictions. And then, you know, there can be this spurge of, you know, I have to say everything. I have to get it out now. On Saturday with the Mercury square Jupiter. Positive side to a Venus Saturn square is it enables us to um, crack on with things, to get work, work done, particularly creative projects, because that Saturn, even though it is retrograde, it is of course in its own sign, so it's able to deliver the goods. Um, so it's a really fascinating week, really, I think. And of course we've got Uranus retrograde as well, Uranus goes retrograde on Tuesday so it's going to retrace those early um, degrees of Taurus and the thing is it's going to square that Mars again you know mid-September which again is is a real challenge to um, you know keep an eye on you know the Aquarius the bigger picture that it's um, it's not all about ego it's also about working together and teamwork, team effort, because together you can get a lot more done ultimately, particularly if you can get consensus. But it's an amazing week and uh, I wish you a really good, good eclipse and a great week. Thanks for listening. Bye.